What is up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing an episode of Sort It Out. It's one of my favorite episodes um, or series to do on the channel. Usually we do these about every two, two and a half months or so, uh, but this one's only about a month since we've done the last episode. So it's not gonna be as much here to see as usual. But what this is, is basically everything that's going into my collection in the last month. So let's get into it, let's not hang around. This is all from the Keeper's Box. Everything we found in hunts, maybe a friend's given it to me or I found it in change or something like that. Most of these are from hunts though, for sure. We've got a few other bits off to the side as well. Um, but let's get into it and see what we've added to the collection this month. First off, we're gonna do the two pounds. We've got a Britannia here, that's a 2016. A Magna Carta, we've been finding quite a few of these. I think we're gonna have a few here. Lovely coins find, and another one. There'll be no annotations on this video. It'll just take me way, way too long to do. Um, these were, of course, all annotated with values in the corner and mintages down here when we found them during the hunts. So you can always go back, check those out if you want to. There's a Shakespeare comedies, lovely stuff. I do like finding those. We don't find many down here at all. There's a London Underground tube train. Always a great find. And another one we've been finding a few of recently. There's its counterpart, the London Underground Roundel. Nice little pair of coins, those, I think. Another Britannia. Another 2016 the more common year, and another, 2016, and a great Fire of London, such a great coin. Great by name, and it looks great as well. Little bump on the Queen's head there, bit of die damage. Lovely stuff. Another Magna Carta. and a Navy Centenary. We don't find many of these. We're still yet to find any with the, um, the die damage up here, the flag errors. One day. <laughs> There's another Britannia, another 2016. We found a whole load of those in one hunt, didn't we? There's Robert Burns. Yeah, and the reason for this being a shorter episode, I just want to start Start the new year with an empty keeper's box, you know. Start afresh, get everything put away. And then in a couple of months, we'll see what's in there. Hmm, why have we kept this? Quite a nice condition, not too bad. Not too sure on that one. But it's Charles Darwin. It's not really one we tend to keep usually. There's another roundel. Second one of those in the box this month. A Trinity House, it's one we keep if it's in nice condition, and that is a very shiny one. I remember when we found that. Put that down here. And another one that we keep if we find it in nice condition, the DNA Double Helix. And that is pretty nice. So we've kept that one as well. What a coin. What a coin, the Beijing to London handover. Just love the design. Simple, but just stands out, I think. Great design, big Olympic rings on the flag. And the hands there, lovely stuff. We do not mind adding that to the collection at all. Another Britannia, 2015 this time. So both dates of the circulating Britannia design. And there's the Shakespeare tragedies. Of course, I would have checked the edge inscription when we found it, there are the ones with the incorrect for king and country edge. There's another great fire of London. No die damage on that one. A second one of those. And a third London Underground Roundel. And that is another very, very shiny one. Two decent condition ones. That one in the middle wasn't so great. And another train as well. Awesome. Again, great, great condition. A Magna Carta. How many is that now? Four? Four Magna Cartas. 
and then a London Olympic centenary, a great, great find. So tough to find now. Mintage under one million. And a great coin, undervalued, I think, as a few of these are. Maybe their time will come one day. We shall see. Like this as well, undervalued, I think. One day will be a 10, 15 pound coin, potentially. And another Robert Burns. Only just over face value those. We do keep them though. And another. Slightly off centre that one, but that's quite common on those. There's another Trinity House for the stash. And another tube train. Number three, three roundels, three trains. Not bad at all, is it? And another Magna Carta, that's five. Wow. And another. <laughs> Six. Six Magna Cartas in an episode of Sort It Out. We have never had that. And this is only a month episode. Another 2016 Britannia. A few more two pounds here. Another 2016, very shiny that one. And another stack of 2016 Britannias there. And the Trinity House, again, die damage there. On the back of the Queen's hair. And the last two pound, another Shakespeare tragedies. I say the last two pound, but that's not true because we've also got this lovely little lot here, which I do need to get flipped. And I'm gonna do that straight after this video because these are all our different varying degrees of die rotation that we found in the last month. Including one I don't think I showed you guys because it was a, quite a minor one. But there's a 90 degree. This one looks like the minor one. Yeah, very minor one that one. It's still worth keeping in my opinion. There's another fairly minor one but it's the other way so I think people call that an almost 360 degree rather than a low number because it's gone all the way around. We always do it clockwise, I believe. And then we've got this one, again, similar to the last one. And then these two, I think, are the best ones. Yeah, look at that, completely inverted, unreal. And then that one, which is just past completely inverted. But what a haul of uh, die rotations we've had this month. I'm really well on those, can't complain at all. Okay, that's the two pounds. On to the 50 pences then. And again, not gonna be as exciting as a usual episode of Sort It Out, so if you've not seen the others and you wanna see some more cool coins, go back and check out the other episodes of this series because it's a great roundup of what I've been finding on the channel over the past year plus since I've been doing it. Right, let's get into it. There's a Sherlock, the only 2019 we keep. There might be a few of these in here, but I don't mind because they're becoming scarce. There's another. The 2018 Paddingtons we keep as well. There's Panton at Buckingham Palace waving his flag. And there's our first Olympic, Olympic equestrian. Lovely stuff, that can go into the stash of spare Olympics for now. There's a 2017 shield. Something else that's becoming more and more scarce in my opinion, much harder to find now. Here's one we keep if we find it in nice condition. 100 years of scouting. That's a pretty shiny one, so we've kept that. There's another Paddington at the Palace. And another Sherlock Holmes, that's three already and our second Olympic already, Olympic canoeing. And that is in great condition. Lovely stuff. Here's another one we keep if it's in nice condition. Team GB from 2016. It's not a rare coin by any means. I just like it. And then we have Paddington at the Palace again. At Battle of Hastings. Another one which is becoming more and more scarce. Getting tough to find now, considering it's only four year old coin. And another Sherlock Holmes. There's a good one. 
2018's Peter Rabbit. That is a top, top find. One of the most scarce 50p's out there. And another Paddington at the Palace. Another Sherlock. And another Team GB. A Taylor of Gloucester. That's two of the 2018's. I'm not sure we'll have all four here. Been a long time since we found a Tittlemouse, which isn't even the most scarce one. There's another Olympic though. A great find, any point. Olympic Volleyball. Awesome. Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. Not really over face value, but we keep all the 2016 Potters. That iconic first series. And there's another Panton at the Palace. Another Sherlock. And another Sherlock. And a Britannia. It's not a 2008. I know what this is because we took it out of our book to make some space. This is a partial or a full collar error that I found on a 50 pence. See that ridge running all the way around the edge? Not supposed to be there. So that's quite interesting. We'll pop that into our little error collection for sure. What I'll do is I'll put that with those rotations, make sure it goes there. And there's another Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. Where was she? Oh, just there. And just our second 2017 shield of the month. And another Tiggy Winkle. Proven that they're not really that scarce. Here's one that is hard to find these days, for sure. The NHS 50 pence, a great, great coin. I love to find it, it's just so scarce. Undervalued again, in my opinion. There's another 2017 shield, bit of a mark on that one. It's a bit of a shame, we'll still keep it. And yet another Paddington at the Palace. No Paddington at the station yet. Another Olympic volleyball. Awesome. Unusual to get two of the same Olympic in the same episode of this series. There's another Sherlock. And another Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. 2016's Peter Rabbit. Love to find that Peter. We always keep him. And there's yet another Sherlock. Stack of those there. Beatrix Potter Anniversary. That's three of the 2016s so far. And another Olympic canoeing. So two doubles on the Olympics this month. I don't mind that at all. There's another couple of Sherlock's. And another Taylor of Gloucester. A little bit grubby that one, we don't mind. Again, becoming so hard to find already, considering it's not that low of a mintage. And there's another Sherlock. A Battle of Britain. Another coin which is becoming much more tough to find, in my opinion. And there we go, finally, Paddington at the station. <laughs> All of those Paddington at the Palace. One station. And there's another Sherlock. And another 2017 shield, presumably. Yep. Battle of Hastings. Peter Rabbit. Another Battle of Britain. A Benjamin Britain, which again is another one that's becoming so, so tough to find now. And another Sherlock. Awesome. That's all the loose... 50p's and two pounds we've found. We've got a couple of extra bags here that we've got to put away as well. One of them is our awesome new Egyptian coins that Abdi brought us back from Egypt recently. I've already put the notes away. Um, so yeah, not got those to show you again. But if you want to see what Egyptian coins I got um, and the notes as well, I'll stick a link up the top there. Go and check out that video. We'll get those put away as well. And then we've got this massive bag of keepers that we got from Angel, from a coin collector's journey. She gave us a load of coins at the Royal Mint. 
and a big bundle of coins to look through, which we were supposed to do in the video at the mint. Now, anything I needed, I kept. Anything I already had, or that there was two of, we'd done a giveaway for, and Mackenzie was lucky enough to win that. Um, so again, if you've not seen that video, go and check it out up there. I'll stick a link up. Well worth a watch, and loads and loads of cool coins to go into my collection there. Very excited about that. So I'm gonna spend the rest of my day sorting this lot out properly and putting it away. Uh, but thanks for watching. We've done all right, I think. Quick roundup. I mean, our finds of this month have got to be those die rotations. Absolutely unreal. We've done brilliantly otherwise as well. All those Magna Cartas look. Three, four, five, six. Three tube trains, three roundels, two great fires. Just the one Navy Centenary. Two handovers though, Beijing handovers, and an Olympic Centenary. Our two pound luck in the past month has been pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. 50Ps as well, we've not done bad. There's a few Olympics in there. Equestrian, couple of canoeing, couple of volleyball. Um, of course, anything which was new for the collection went into the collection, so that's not here. This is only things we already had, so we have found more stuff than this which has gone into the book. A Peter Rabbit as well from 2018, cannot grumble with those. Um, and then these cool Egyptian coins and all of these from Angel as well. So we've had a pretty good month. Now the keeper's box is empty, time to start filling it up again. Drop us a thumbs up and I'll see you soon for some more coiny goodness. Take care everyone, all the best.